Nowadays, posters tend to be fairly flattering pictures of the uh, candidates, but when the state was founded, the parties used posters to undermine each other and poke fun at the uh, leaders uh, of their uh, rival uh, parties and their policies. Here are some used by Cumann na Gael, which later became Fine Gael, in the 1920s and 1930s, aimed at what they called Senior Eamon de Valera, Frank Aiken and Sean Lamass. From the mid-1920s onwards, um, you get a noticeable shift in posters that were used in the election campaign where they would target uh, particularly their, their opposition um, coming from the Cumann Gael candidates in particular. Um, and some of the posters that they used would have poked fun at uh, the opposition, particularly at Fianna Fáil. One particular poster, an example, uh, refers to Devi Circus. It's certainly different to anything that you'd find today. Again, the Devi Circus poster refers to Frank Fake probably not a term you get away with referring to another politician back today. Um, also referring to Senor de Valera, um, referring to Lamas as the greatest attraction. Um, some of the other posters then show de Valera with his house collapsing around him, the house built on the idea of uh, the empty formula again. Some of the posters that they, that they used throughout the 1920s as well uh, refers to the Oath of Allegiance as the anti-treatyites would have referred to it in 1921-22. Um, but in August 1927, Fianna Fáil reverses its decision uh, of abstention and decides to take their seats uh, in the Dáil. So Cumann Gael begin to target that then in their posters, refer to the empty political formula, which is what de Valera called the oath, and they play on that then in the posters. So you get references to the egg that was hatched that turned out to be empty, uh, which was the empty oath, of course, uh, five years later, and a lot of the posters would have, would have drawn on that theme. One of the posters, again, that refers back to the empty formula shows the headstones of different people who've died in the, the Civil War. And what's quite interesting is that it makes reference to people who've died on both sides uh, of the Treaty Divide. For example, Michael Collins and Cahill Brewer um, are depicted, their headstones side by side. So it's kind of referring to the, the general waste or the, the loss of life and the, the, the shame, I suppose, of, of the Civil War and the pointlessness of it all. In 1932, Cumann na Gael produced the Shadow of the Gunman poster. Um, although it didn't explicitly make reference to Fianna Fáil, the message was very clear in it. They were tying the Fianna Fáil party to the IRA and saying that, uh, despite the fact Fianna Fáil had converted to the habit of practical politics, that they were essentially still gunmen effectively. The poster, however, proved to be very controversial, not just with the opposition, but also with Cumann na Gael members themselves. And some of them who would have owned pubs or shops, for example, actually refused to hang the poster uh, on their walls. So particularly controversial, but probably one of the most striking images. In terms of being game changers, uh, apart from maybe the shadow of the gunman poster, which backfired horribly on them, um, they weren't really the type of posters, I suppose, that would have um, convinced the floating voters, for example, uh, to vote for Cumann na Gael rather than to vote for Fianna Fáil or the Labour Party or the National League.